Hello, and welcome to our Serenade video. In previous videos, we showed you how to populate forms. In this video, we will focus on additional tools and settings within the form. Let us access a case profile, and from there go to the form section. From the form section, click on the form name to bring us into the form. We are now inside the form. The first noticeable thing that you can do on a form is edit a field directly on a form. If you simply click on a field, you will be able to overwrite the area. Something to notice is when you overwrite the field, it will appear blue. This is just to help you differentiate between what auto-populated as opposed to what you manually inserted. All fields will print in black. We will now focus on the black toolbar up top. We will start with the change page buttons. If clicking the first one, it takes you to the first page. If we click on the next one, it takes us to the previous page. We can type what page we'd like to go and hit enter, taking us directly to that page. And lastly, you have buttons to go to the next page and last page. Next to the change page options is zoom options, how the form will appear. Proceed to find a zoom level you are comfortable with. Your next button is a create a note button. What this does is give you the option to create a sticky note. You can insert your note and drag it anywhere on the page. This will help you keep notes for yourself or other staff members accessing this form. Additionally, if you email the form as editable HTML, you can include a yellow sticky note with instructions for the client. When it comes time to print, you have the option to print with or without the sticky note. The next button is Type Anywhere. You already have the option to type on any field within a form. However, with Type Anywhere, this allows you to create a new text field. Same as a sticky note, you can drag and drop anywhere, and when it comes time to print, you can decide to include or exclude. The next settings are font options, where you can modify text fields. Please note that the software already has auto-reduce text size settings. However, this just gives you the options on how you want the text to look on a specific field. The next button is creating addendums. Most forms already have addendum pages at the end where it lists extra information about the client. With these addendums, it creates a page where you can enter any other information. When it comes time to print, you have the option to include these addendums. The last button on the right is a form data button, which can do a couple things. The first is a replace tool. With this tool, you can tell the software to grab areas of the form and replace with a text such as grab all blank areas and apply not applicable. We recommend using this feature once completed with the form. Besides a replace tool, you also have a feature to make text in all caps. Just as it sounds, the software can grab every area of the form and make it in all caps. We recommend using this once finished with the form. The last things you can do is click save on the form. And finally, you can print the form. When clicking print, you will have options to exclude sticky notes, addendums, and type anywhere. When clicking print, it will create a PDF where you can save onto your desktop and proceed to print. This concludes our video on form tools. 